Hi everyone, this is uh, KD7MCI Jason with a uh, little bit of a review for a radio I didn't know that was out there, but it's a, uh, I guess it's a Baofeng, I can't pronounce it, but anyway, a buddy of my work, he uh, he's not a ham, but he was wanting a radio that he can use for emergency communications in case, you know, of course of an emergency. And, he bought this and asked me if I could program it. And I didn't know anything about it, so you know I was kind of hesitant. Oh, sorry, let me turn that off. I was hesitant, kind of, uh, to do it, thinking it was a pile of junk. But I have to be honest; I'm kind of surprised at this little radio. Um, I didn't see a lot of posts on the net about how to program it, and if you have one of these. You know that the manual that they give you, which is, I'm sorry, right here, it's kind of junk. You know, it, it's kind of vague on how to program it. Um, anyway, so I went through and I made some notes on how to program it, and I was going to post how an easy way I found to program it. First of all, when you turn it on, frequency mode. Um, you should go. I found Thank easier you. if you go to memory or menu, I'm sorry, and then 40, or you could type it in, sorry. Reset all. I don't know if you see that or not. Go ahead and reset everything to factory settings. This one had some junk in there that I, it just cleared it all out. Um, after I did that, you have to uh, go to menu 14 menu. to set your voice back to English. It was default, I think, back to Chinese. So uh, I put it back to English. And then to input your, I'm sorry, your uh, frequencies, it was pretty easy how to do this the way that I do it. First of all, you'll see that there's a VFO button here. Channel mode. That's the memory frequency mode. and frequency. But see this little AB button? I'm sorry, right here. You have to have the toggle on the top frequency. I don't know if you can see that or not. See, I'm toggling between the bottom and the top. You want it on the, what they call the A position. And I'll show you, or I'll tell you later why. So if you have that on the A position, go to VFO, type in a frequency, which I did, did there. And then you want to go to menu. 13. I don't know if you can see all this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Well, anyway, you can set your tone. If, you're, if it's a repeater, you set your tone. You just hit menu. Uh, let me menu. do this again. And then you can turn it on or off. For right now, it's off. Hit exit. And uh, let's say if you want to do your shift, you do menu. And then 25. And you can set your shift there, just come down to memory, or I'm sorry, menu, toggle up or down, turn it plus or minus or off. And then after you set your shift, you want to do your offset. Menu. And then it's 26. And there's the offset. And to adjust it, you just hit menu again. Offset frequency. And you just type it in. It's offset right now for 600 kilohertz which is for the two meter um, and then after you set that you want to put it into memory so you just do menu, menu and then it's 27 I believe and then you to activate it oh, you can't see probably memory channel. and then you just toggle to whatever channel you want now the reason I told you to put your when you go to simplex or VFO, I'm sorry, uh, put your frequency in the A position. If it's not in the A position, when you go to hit menu, again, to save it, it won't save it. It has to be in the A position. And then channel mode. it will put everything into this channel mode. And it was pretty slick. The only thing I don't like about doing it manually is you can't put in like the channel name like if I want Lewis Peak for instance where I live I can't type that in you have to do it with the computer but overall all in all this pretty good little radio um, it's got a cool little flashlight here 
I don't know if you see that, or it blinks. Um, it's got the uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and FM radio. <clears throat> I think he uh, paid, oh, I don't know, I think he said between $40 and $50. I think I might pick up a couple. But uh, if you use the instructions, I'm, I'm, they're probably in the manual. They're not the best. But uh, I wrote some notes down, and that seemed to be pretty easy. Um, I hope this is helpful to those out there. Um, I wish there was a video for me to see. I had to learn the hard way. But anyway, have a great day, and 73s.